Hello, we are live and we are back and I'm going to show you in this programming for Ruby tutorial. I'm going to show you how to create video games with Gosu. Alright, video games is things that people always will, will love, okay? And you get to actually create it with Gosu. And Gosu is part of Ruby and if you don't have it, you may want to install it. Into your part, into your version of Ruby, so that you can create these amazing video games. All right, I from um, what I use to type in my Ruby code is Kids Ruby version one point three point five. You can find Kids Ruby. It's not only for kids; it's all it teaches how to. Um, program and I use some of the stuff for programming that I learned here actually and I read some of my stuff off of here during the, my tutorials but I'm, I'm, I simplify it and try to make it easier to understand okay all right if you are using kids Ruby you can get started of making your first game in Gosu, actually. So, this is the file that will contain our first ever real program that we will be able to play and use. Alright, we are going to use the Gosu library. And, to, and for the, from the last tutorial, I showed you the basic on using variables, uh, different methods, and the if else statement. All right. Anyway, let's get started. We will use the Gosu library to create our game using Gosu. Okay. So first, what we do is we require Gosu. So we have required the Gosu library. And then we will start our game by actually taking from the Gosu class, inheriting from the Gosu class, as 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 kids really would say. Alright, we will call our game my game. That's what I'm just gonna call it. Although the finished product, I will probably name it. Meteor Dodge. That's because the images that I use has meteors and airplanes. And you have to dodge meteors. So that's kind of a little thing that I just gave away of what the game is going to be about. And let's see. We have zero viewers at this moment. Da, 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 da. Okay, all right, we'll, we'll get back to what we were doing. After we require the Grosu library, we are going to call our game my game, and we do it like this. We hit enter, and we create a my, my game class. So, class my game goes to window. All right, and then we will define. So we can uh, actually hit enter. I'm trying to have a clean line of code, really, because it's always nice to have a clean line of code. So when other programs my other program will see your code. They're like, "Wow, this is really clean code." So, and then she lies. We will create the definition of initialize definition. Up date. We actually use df to define our methods. 
update. Oops. Oh. We can't have this happen. And it's very back there. Update. Don't forget to put N. Actually, I forgot to do that. Enter. DEF. Draw. And N. All right. So those are the three methods that we define. And it's the define initialize, define update, and define draw. All right. What happens here is that when the game starts, the initialize method is activated, or is also called, and then it stays running and goes into a, a loop calling the methods update and draw. So it goes into a loop and then gathers the um, update and draw. All right, so now we are actually going to create the window. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the initialized method, and we and we do that by passing we get three parameters. So we do that by typing super 300 400. Make sure that it's false. Because if it's not false and instead it, it's true, um, like if it's true, it'll tell go, the, the, telling um, your method to be true will make the whole screen will go will um make go to take over the whole screen, and we don't want that to happen because it'll look very ugly, and the game won't run very correctly as we would want it to run. So, after we type in that, I also want to explain what 300 by 400 is. This will make a window of 300 pixels wide and 400 pixels high. And if you don't know what a pixel is, just put your face right next to your display. And if you can see those dots, those are called pixels. Pixels create, make up the screen, but I'm pretty sure most of you guys know that. So we're um, almost ready to run the program. Uh, we have to use the class that we just defined in our program. And what we do is we type window equals my game referring to the variable above dot new. Alright, then we also type window dot show. Alright, so make sure that you check your code. I'm checking mine right now. Uh, make sure that you didn't spell anything incorrectly because then the program won't run correctly. Alright, so I'm pretty sure that everything is written correctly. And if everything is written correctly, we should have. Da -da -da -da. Actually, can you guys see that? Alright, I want to make sure that you guys can see this actually. So here it is right here. So if you type everything incorrectly, you should get that little window. 
All right. So that is the end of this tutorial. And if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like it. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. Or and, and also share it if you with your programming problems. And yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. The next tutorial will actually show you how to input a player. So that'll be very exciting and fun. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.